So this is Meher Acharya Dar. Uh, so she is an actor for over 30 years. So Meher, tell us, where did you study and what courses did you take? So I studied in uh, JV Pettit School in Bombay. And then I went to St. Xavier's College in Bombay. And uh, my I graduated in political science. And then I did an MA from Bombay University in uh, uh, international relations and uh, defense studies. OK, so what motivated you to be an actor? Sorry? So what motivated you to be an actor? So I was acting in school plays and stuff from the time that I was in school. And uh, my drama teacher at the time, uh, who was uh, Pearl Padamsi, she uh, kind of pushed me into going into professional theater when I was in my 11th standard in college. And she introduced me to uh, professional English theater in Bombay. She uh, got me into a bunch of English plays. And um, I realized it's something I enjoy. So I was doing, uh, I was acting and I was doing uh, backstage and production work all through uh, school and college. And uh, uh, once I finished college and uh, I tried to go abroad to study acting uh, in UK and uh, America. But uh, at the time that I was trying for scholarships, there weren't any uh, Indian uh, scholarship funds that were giving me any scholarships to go to study theater abroad. So I continued uh, doing my MA in uh, India. And side by side, I continued acting in plays. And so then plays led to TV, to films, and on and on. So it kind of seemed a natural progression of just been doing theater since 1990. OK. So um, how do you use technology, and how do you think technology will impact your line of business? As an actor? Yeah. So uh, the thing about theater is that it's uh, it's a first person contact profession right you go to a theater and you watch someone live as opposed to watching uh, watching a movie or watching a web show or watching something on youtube or instagram or tiktok that's all technology based but theater is it's visceral it's it's um, you need to see it live so uh, while I do films and I and I also do stuff for television and uh, digital uh, films and shows, um, you can't replace the experience of going to a theater uh, with anything online. So unfortunately, now during the lockdown, of course, a lot of uh, stage performances and theatrical performances are being shown online. But I don't think you can substitute the uh, experience of going to a, a live theatrical venue with watching something online. So in that sense, um, uh, unfortunately, technology, uh, uh, I mean, while it is helping us broaden the base of theater and taking theater to everyone's phones and computers and TV screens and homes, um, we hope that post the lockdown, more people would be enthused to go to a theater and watch performances live. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, what skills should someone have to succeed in your field? Uh, as an actor, what skill? Well, um, it would be nice, of course. Uh, it doesn't matter what medium of actor you are, whether it's for film or television or uh on any of the online platforms or for theater. It's good to have your basis in theater. So uh, it's good to um, get your foundation as a theater actor. You can start off with uh, helping a theater group in, uh, in the production or just being part of a theater group, running around getting coffee. If you want to help a director, if you want to start off by working uh, with ongoing productions, that's great. Uh, you can. There are now a whole bunch of theater schools that have opened up all across India. So uh, the experience now for students is much more diverse uh, as opposed to when I was uh, when I had finished school and college and I didn't have that opportunity to go to theater schools in India. I had to look um, abroad if I needed any 
theater training but that is not the case anymore there are a whole bunch of theater schools so you can start off by using theater as your base as your foundation and uh, you can of course move to uh, tv or digital or films after that um what skills you need is uh, of course you you need to be very flexible and very um willing to uh, be a, a part of a theatrical process and be a part of a theatrical group in many different circumstances because everywhere we perform all over india and across the world venues are not the same facilities infrastructure is not the same so you should be uh, you should be willing to adapt and you should be willing to um you know uh just just be be willing to modify your approach and and be flexible and uh, be adaptable uh you should also have great negotiating skills so that you can uh, uh, get good paychecks obviously uh and uh, i think just be a, a really really open minded person because uh, just the uh, the medium of performance is such that you can't start off by assuming that oh i know everything just because i've walked out of a theater school or i've done 2 3 10 20 plays um for me 30 years later i approach every new script that i get uh, whether it's um, uh, whether it's a uh, you know for camera or whether it's off camera uh, i approach it with a lot of um you know trepidation and humility and i approach every script as if it's my first and i i'm i'm out there to learn and to see what i can gain from the process from the script from the director every director is different every script is different um uh two different directors may direct the same script differently so you should just be have be really open minded and um, just be open to the experience of whatever the process uh wherever the process takes you and whatever it throws up okay so what guidance do you have for those who are looking for a uh, a career in acting what guidance do i have um i like i said start off by going to theater school um get a really really good foundation uh in theater don't think that um just because you may have a pretty face or you may have a photogenic face you can just jump in front of the camera and and start acting uh it's really important to get a good base uh for your craft uh in theater and in you know in live performances and then you can slowly move towards uh camera and recorded performance so like i said there are schools now uh you have the drama school of bombay you have a lot of schools all around uh india that offer uh, really good theatrical training so start off there and um once you're done with drama school get a good portfolio and you have to approach uh, a lot of different casting agents and uh, a lot of different theater groups and um uh, to try and get into a theater group that will that will where you can witness an ongoing production okay so thank you ma'am thank you for your time